Welcome to Chapter 9, HCF LCM, Practice Set 25. Let's learn Practice Set 25. Uh, in this Practice Set, we are going to study about LCM. Now, what is LCM? It is the least common multiple. When we studied about HCF, there we studied uh, two methods. I explained you uh, to solve HCF by two methods. Similar way, even in LCM, we have two methods of solving. Okay, for the first sum, I will explain you with both the methods. And then it's up to you that which method you want to solve. Okay, so first method is by writing the multiples. Since LCM is least common multiples, means we have to write the multiples of the given number. And the least common, least common means whenever we write the multiples of any given two numbers or three numbers, from those multiples, we have to find out which is the common multiple and the least common multiple. Okay, uh, and the other method is uh, by finding factors, which we have done in HCF also. Okay, so let's begin. The first sum in uh, uh, practice set 25 is find out the LCM of the following numbers. So first sum we will be doing that is 9 and 15. As I told you, we are going to solve the first sum by both the, both the methods. So the first method is by listing the multiples. Okay, so the first sum I have written here that is 9 and 15. First, we need to write the multiples. So, we list out the multiples. Now, what do I mean by multiples? Multiples means we have to uh, basically write the table of that particular number. Okay. So, we have to write the table of 9. So, 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18 and go on. Okay, so next is 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99 and so on. Okay. Let's write the multiples of 15 and then we'll come to know whether we have to write more multiples. Okay, we just want the common and the least common one. So, we'll write up to 10 or 11 and then we'll see whether if we are not getting any common multiple, then we have to proceed. Okay, so now the multiples of 15. So, 15 ones are 15, 2s are 30. 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, 135, 150 and so on. Now, we don't need to write the tables or write the multiples further. The reason is we have to find which is common. Now, if you see the common multiple is 45. One more we have got 90. But since we have to find the least common multiple. Okay. So, how much we have written? We can just mention here common multiples. Okay. 45 and 90. There may be more. Okay. Because this will go on. How much ever you want to write the multiples. This will go on. But how much we have listed out from there. At least we have found that 45 and 90 are the two common multiples. From this which is the lowest common multiple. The smallest. That is 45. And therefore, LCM of 9 and 15 is equal to 45. Okay, so this is the method 
which we will solve by listing the multiples. We have to write the multiples of that given number. Okay, and what is the meaning of multiple? We have to write the tables. Okay, ones are, twos are, threes are, fours are, and so on. Okay, and then when we list out from there, we need to find what is common and the lowest common. Okay, so once you, when you are listing it out, once you get the first common, then you can stop writing. Okay, now the next method is by finding the factors. So with either you solve by this method that is listing the multiples. Okay, or the second method is by writing the factors. Okay, for that we need to find the prime factors. So same method what we have done for HCF okay we need to take the prime numbers so 9 is divisible by 3 so we will start with 3 3 is a prime number 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 is a 3 same way here we can start with 3 3 5 is a 15 5 1 is a 5 so here we need to write the factors the factors of 9 is written as 3 into 3. Okay, you have studied in HCF also. We have to put a multiplication sign. And the factors of 15 is 3 into 5. Okay, now from this we need to write the common. Common factors. So what are the common factors here? 3 is a common factor. So we write it once. Okay, now in HCF we have written the common factors and if it is only one common factor, then that only becomes the HCF. If it is more than one common factor, then we multiply and we write the answer. Now in LCM, don't forget that we need to write the common as well as the uncommon. Now common is 3, which is written here. Now we need to also mention what are the uncommon factors, which are not common. So 3 and 5 are uncommon. And when we have to find the LCM, we have to take the common, that is 3, and the uncommon all together. Okay, so first list out or you can mark the common ones, right? Then the left ones become the uncommon ones, write it there. Write them and then we just have to multiply. So now, therefore, LCM is equal to 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 5 is a 45. Therefore, LCM of 9 and 15 is, so this is by factor method, finding the factors. Okay. And the second sum is 2, 3 and 5. So we have to find the LCM of 2, 3 and 5. There are three numbers. Okay. Now I will solve this by factor method. So, 2, 3, 5. One thing you will observe that all the three numbers are prime numbers. So here we will not get any factors. So the factors will be the number itself. 2, 1 is a 2. 3, 1 is a 3. 5, 1 is a 5. Okay. Therefore, when we write the factors of 2, 3 and 5, it is just 2, 3 and 5. Can you see here? The reason is they are the prime numbers okay so here you will see that we don't have anything in common common factor as i told you when you have to find lcm we have to take the common and the uncommon both so the common factors we have nothing okay so we need to take the uncommon factors since this is none Uncommon factors is what? 2, 3 and 5. All 3 together. Clear? Therefore, the LCM becomes 2 into 3 into 5. There is nothing in common. So, we just have to multiply the uncommon ones. And what is the answer? Therefore, the LCM is equal to 5 twos are 10. 10 threes are 30. Okay? Therefore, LCM of 2, 3 and 5 is 30. Clear? 
Now the third sum 12 and 20. So again we will do by the factor method. If you want you can do by the listing the multiples method also. So in that case you have to write multiples of 12. That is you have to write the table of 12. Then you have to write the table of 28. So write the multiples of 12 and 28 at least up to 10. Okay. That is 12 tensor and 28 tensor. If you get any common multiple then you write that common multiple as LCM. If you don't get then you have to proceed and keep on writing the multiples till you get the common factor. Now 12 and 28. So we will start with 2. Okay, 2 6 are 12, 2 3 are 6, 3 1 are 3. As you know, in this prime fa uh, factor method, we have to take the prime numbers. Here also, 28, it is divisible by 2. 2 1s are, 2 4s are, 2 7s seven are, 7 1s are, because 7 is a prime number. Okay, now when we write, we have to write factors. Of 12 and 28. When we are writing we have to put a multiplication sign between each number. See that you write all the numbers properly. Now since it is LCM we have to take the common and the uncommon both. If it is HCF we just have to take the common factors. So I'll just mark the common 2. I write it down here. Then there is one more 2. I write it here. So common is just 2 into 2. Now uncommon. The ones which are not common. The left ones. So uncommon is 3 and 7. So I just write it down. Now when I have to find LCM. We write the common uncommon together. So 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. Clear? So here 7 3s are 21. 21 twos are 42 and 42 twos are 84. Okay. So therefore LCM is equal to or you can do it like this taking pairs. 2 twos are 4 and 7 threes are 21. And therefore the answer is 84. Okay. See that you write final answer LCM of 12. And 28 is 84. Okay, so this was a third sum. The fourth and the fifth sum are cancelled for this year. Okay, so the first, second and third is done. The first sum I have showed with both the methods. Second and third I have done with factor method. Now after... The sums what we solved here in part 1. The second part, these are word problems. Out of which the third sum is cancelled. Okay, so let's see what is the first sum. On the playground, if the children are made to stand for drill, either 20 to a row or 25 to a row. All rows are complete and no child is left out. What is the lowest possible number of the children in that school? Okay, so they have uh, given here that children standing uh, for drill. Okay, so 20 to a row or 25 to a row. Okay, in such a way that all the rows are complete and there is no child left out. And we have to find that the least number of children possible uh, in the school. So since lowest, this word has come, we should uh, know that we have to find the LCM. So when we find the LCM, the least common multiple of 20 and 25, we'll come to know that which is what is the least number of children present in that school. So let's begin. So the least number of children in school can be counted by LCM of 20 and 25. Always keep in mind that the, the word problem, if it has this number like least or lowest, then we have to find the LCM. So here again, we are going to 
find it by the factor method. So we take the factors of 20 and 25. 20 is divisible by 2, 5 also. So you can start with 2 or you can start with 5. But both should be prime numbers. So 2 1s are 2, 0s are 0. 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are. Then 25, 5 5s are 25, 5 1s are. Then we have to write the factors here. Factors of 20 is 2 into 2 into 5. And factors of 25 is 5 into 5. Which I have mentioned here. After that we have to mark the common ones. So common I have underlined. You can see here 5 is common. And the remaining are uncommon. So what is remaining 2, 2 and 5. Okay. It is written in uncommon. You can see here. Okay. Then when we have to find the LCM. We have to multiply the common and the uncommon all together. So since the common is 5 which is mentioned here. Uncommon is 2, 2 and 5. So all together 5 into 2 into 2 into 5 is written here. So 5 twos are 10 and 5 twos are 10. 10 into 10 is 100. All together we have to multiply. So the LCM of 20 and 25 is 100. And what we had considered when we find the LCM of 20 and 25, we will get the least number of children in the school. So therefore the least number of children in school is 100. Okay. In this way we have found or we have solved the first sum. Now the second sum, Veena has some beads. She wants to make necklaces with an equal number of beads in each. Okay. If she makes necklaces of 16 or 24 or 40 beads. Okay. She has some beads. We don't know how many beads. She wants to make necklaces. Now necklaces can be made of 16 beads. Necklaces can be made of 24 beads in each. Okay. Or necklaces can be made of 40 beads. There is no bead left over. What is the least number of beads with her? We don't know the count. How many beads are there with her? But she wants to make necklaces. Wherein if she is using 16 beads. Or if she is using 24 beads. Or if she is using um, 40 beads. Okay. Whichever number she is using from these three, okay, and she will make the necklaces, there is no bead which is left, okay. So she wants to make the necklaces with equal, if she is making for example 10 beads, uh, 10 necklaces, sorry. If she is making 10 necklaces and then if one necklace she is going to uh, put for example 5 beads. Then in every necklace she is going to put 5 beads. Okay. So we have to find that how many least number of beads she can have. If she has this condition that she can make necklaces of 16 beads in each or 24 beads in each or 40 beads in each. So since again the word has come least we will find the LCM of 16, 24 and 40. Again this is a three number okay where we have to find the LCM. Now the least number of beads can be found out by LCM of 16, 24 and 40. So again we have to find the factors of 16, 24 and 40. So 16 is divisible by 2 which is a prime number. 2 8s are 16, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4 and 2 1s are 2. Keeping in mind that these numbers what we are going to take should be prime numbers. 24 again is divisible by 2. So you can start with 2. Okay. Or you can even uh, start with 3 because it is divisible by 3 also. So 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 12. Again we take 2. 2 6 are 12. 2 3s are 6. And 3 1s are 3. Next is 40. 40 is divisible by uh, 2 and also 5. So you can start the sum with uh, finding the factors with 5 or 2. So 2 2s are 4, 0s are 0, 2 10s are 20, 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are. All these factors have to be listed. And the way of writing is already told. That you have to write these factors with a multiplication sign. Now since it is LCM, we have to first write the common and we also have to write the uncommon. 
so common is 2 which is mentioned here 2 there is one more 2 which is common which is written here there is one more 2 which is common which is written here so there are 3 2's here which are common in all the 3 ok now when there are 3 numbers in uh, LCM and when we have to find the common uncommon so first when we have to find the common you will find the common in all the 3 now the number which is common in all the 3 is 2 2 and 2 after that you have to check which number is common in the first and the second is there any number common in first and second no then we have to check the second and third is there any number common in second and third no then we have to check the first and third is there any number which is common in first and third no okay and then since there is nothing common in the first second second third and the first and third we are going to take the left ones as uncommon 2 3 and 5 so these are the common ones these are the uncommons all we have to multiply so it's written here 2 into 2 into 2 this 2 into 3 into 5 is written here all together when we multiply these the answer is 240 therefore 240 is the LCM and they have asked what is the least number of beads uh, Veena can have so Veena must have at least 240 beads minimum okay now the third sum is cancelled the word problem so we are going to do the fourth one we observe the traffic lights at three different squares on the same big road they turn green every 60 seconds 120 seconds and 24 seconds when the signals were switched on at 8 o'clock in the morning all the lights were green how long after that will all the three signals turn green simultaneously again okay so they are talking about the traffic lights which are present at three different places squares on a big road okay now this three different places where there are signals they are turning green the lights are turning green color at one place after 60 seconds at other place after 120 seconds and at the third place after 24 seconds now the question is when will these signals the signals were switched uh, on green color at 8 o'clock in the morning at 8 o'clock in the morning all the lights were turned green then how long it will take okay how long after that it will take that all these three signals will turn green again at the same time okay now these three places the signals can turn green many times but after eight o'clock after eight o'clock in the morning when next all the three signals will be green in color okay so the least time we have to find okay therefore we have to find the lcm of 60 120 and 24 okay so you can see here all the three signals turn green simultaneously again after 8 o'clock in the morning we will get by the LCM of 60, 120 and 24. Again there are three numbers. Okay so we are going to do it by the factor method. Okay you can also do it by multiples method that is you have to write the multiples of 60, 120 and 24 and then find the least number in that. So 60 it is divisible by 2 so you can even write it is divisible by 3 it is also divisible by 5 and all the three numbers are prime numbers 2 3 5 you can start the factors by any of this number so 2 3s are 6 2 0s are 3 1s are 3 0 are 0 2 5s are 10 5 1s are 120 is divisible by 2 120 is divisible by 3 also and 120 is divisible by 5 also so you can start with again any number 2, 3 or 5. So 2, 6 are 12, 2, 0 is 2, 3 is 6, 2, 0 is 0, 3, 10 is 30, 2, 5 is 5, 1 is 
24 divisible by 2 which is a prime number. It is also divisible by 3. So you can start with 2 or 3. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6 and 3 1s are. All these prime factors are written with by putting a multiplication sign between them. Okay. Now we have to find a common. Since there are 3 numbers. When there are 2 numbers there is we need not worry. We find the common of 2 and we write the uncommon of the 2. Now when there are 3 numbers, we have to find a common between the 3 numbers. Now in this 3, the common is 2 which is written here. Then common is again 2 which is written here. Okay and the common is 3 which is written here. In all the three. Then as I told you. Check in the first and the second. Is there anything common in the first and the second number? Yes. You can see here five. So. I have written here. Common between 60 and 120. What is common between all the three? Common factors of 60, 120 and 24. 2, 3 and 2. Common between 60 and 120 is 5. Common between the second and the third. What is second and third? 120 and 24. So common factors of 120 and 24 is what? 2. I have marked with a square box. Then we have to see any common factor between the first and the third. Nothing is common between first and third and nothing is left also. So when there are three numbers, pay attention that when there are three numbers, we have to first find the common between the three numbers. Then we have to write them. Then common between the first and the second, we have to write. Common between the second and the third, we have to write. And common between the first and the third. I have not written first and the third because nothing is common. Okay, and then everything we have to multiply. So this which is common between all the three, common of the first and second, common of the second and third. And first and third, there is nothing common. So all these numbers we are going to multiply. 2 into 3 into 2 into 5 into 2. And the multiplication is 120. Okay, so all the three signals will turn green simultaneously again after 120 seconds. The fifth one, given the fraction 13 upon 45 and 22 upon 75, write the equivalent fractions with same denominators and add the fractions. So we have to uh, convert these uh, fractions into equivalent fractions. So what are equivalent fractions? They are the fractions with the same denominators and then we have to add them. Now there are many ways of doing this. Okay and one way what we do is we just multiply the denominators with each other. So the denominator of uh, 13 upon 45 that is 45 we multiply with 22 and 75. And 75 we multiply with 13 and 45 and we convert into equivalent fractions. Okay, but here we are going to find by LCM method. So let's see. Now one fraction is 13 upon 45 and the other fraction is 22 upon 75. Now if we have to make the denominators same, now what are the denominators 45 and 75? In order to make them same, we have to find which is the common multiple and the least common multiple. There can be many common multiples. But we have to find the least common multiple between them so that we can convert 45 and 75 to same number. Okay. So we have to find the LCM of 45 and 75. So again 45 divisible by 5. So 5 nines are 3 threes are 3 ones are 75 divisible by 5. So 5 fifteens are and 5 threes are 3 ones are. We write the factors. Again there are only two numbers. So it's easy. We just have to write the common and uncommon. Common is 5. Okay. And 3. Which is written. And uncommon is 3 and 5 left ones. 
we multiply all together 3 5s are 15 3 5s are 15 so 15 into 15 is 225 so the least common multiple of 45 and 75 is 225 so we can convert the denominators to 225 because this is the least common number which is uh, least common multiple between 45 and 75 so what we can do is since the least common multiple of 45 and 75 is 225 the fractions will have to be converted to denominator as 225 so we take the first fraction and we have to convert this 45 to 225 and if we multiply 45 with 5 we can convert it to 225 so we have to multiply 13 also with 5 Okay, so 13 5s are 65 and 45 5s are 225. Similar way, we have to take the second fraction, 22 upon 75 to 225. So 75 3s are, therefore we have to also multiply 22 with 3. 22 3s are 66 and 75 multiplied by 3 is 225. Now we got these two fractions, equivalent fractions. 65 upon 225 and 66 upon 225. Now we have to add these fractions. So adding this fraction, when the denominators are same, you know that we can add the numerators. So 65 plus 66 upon 225. The answer is 131 upon 225. Therefore the equivalent fractions are 65 upon 225 and 66 upon 225. And the sum Sum means the addition and the addition of this fraction is 131 upon 225. Please complete all the sums from practice set 25 in your notebook. Thank you.